Welcome to the official best of, the show that takes you around the country, state by state, showing America's best destinations and attractions. From our studios in Hollywood, California, it's the official best of. And now for the official best of America, including Minnesota, South Dakota, and Iowa. My name is Stephanie LaFleur, and I am one of the owners of Minnesota Whitewater Rafting with my husband, Chris. And we do whitewater rafting right here on the beautiful St. Louis River. What's really great about the St. Louis River and about this river is that it, no trip is ever the same because the water levels fluctuate. So you're never going to experience the same thing on this river, which is what makes it so special and why it's important for people to know that we have white water rafting right here in northern Minnesota since 1979. We operate six months out of the year, from April until October. St. Louis River rocks! It's beautiful. Every trip's a new, new adventure. It's fun, wild. All you can ask for in a day. It's going to be out doing something out in nature and hanging out with a bunch of good people. So what we're doing right now is we're getting everybody to sign to their boats and seat it correctly. And then I'll give about a quick little safety spiel on how to paddle and safety for the water. And then we will hit the water and get wet and enjoy the nice sunny day. And so we have the previous owner that's going to come in and just say a little word about what he did to create this business and how lucky we are for him to have let us take it over. When I moved to Minnesota from Pennsylvania, I had already operated a rafting company out in Pennsylvania. When I got to here, I started working in a box with no windows, and that inspired me to say, I want to go back to the rafting, and then I began it all over again here in Minnesota. We really want to share how gorgeous the St. Louis River is, and that's part of the reason why we bought this business, to <laughs> just enjoy the gorgeous weather of northern Minnesota. We just returned back from another great trip, and we're so lucky to have another great group of people that went down and enjoyed the river. And as I always say when they come back, until next time, we'd love to have you join us. You're watching the official best of Minnesota, Iowa, and South Dakota. My name is Lori Leitz. I'm here at the Surf Ballroom and Museum where I'm the executive director. This is a fabulous facility for a lot of different events, activities, concerts, and we're a museum, of course, so there's a whole lot of history here to offer anyone who comes to see us. We've been in Clear Lake since 1933. We're one of the few historic ballrooms in Iowa and the United States. Fortunately or unfortunately, one of the reasons that we are still here is because we are the last performance site of Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and the Big Bopper. They played here February 2nd. 1959. They took an airplane out of the Mason City Airport and unfortunately didn't make it to their next stop. We honor them each February with a tribute to their music and their legacies. Our annual winter dance party is in its 41st year. I'm Jeff Nicholas and I'm president of the Surf Ballroom and Museum and we're here in the green room and this of course is what we call the band holding room. Anybody that you can think of over the years that was popular on the music scene played here at the surf. I'm really standing on the stage of American music. You'll remember the song American Pie by Don McLean. Don came and performed that song here on the stage and then came back here and wrote out all the lyrics to the first verse. One of the iconic songs of the 1970s and in fact the 1980s. Part of our mission is more of a cultural aspect to bring all different genres of music to here. In our history, we've got a long and storied history with the big band artists. We run about 30 shows each year. It's a variety of everything from blues to rock, country, and beyond. We're proud to be a multi-use venue everywhere from concerts to events, functions, wedding receptions, and things like that. It's a great place to visit and we hope everyone can come and enjoy where music lives. To see more, visit our website at officialbestof.com. Hi, 
My name is Angelo, Angelo Yovanis. In Greek, it's Agilos Yovanis. I am from Greece. My whole family lives in Greece. My parents own restaurants in Greece, so I grew up in the business. One of the things that I've noticed from the get-go in the Twin Cities was that we didn't really have a lot of authentic Greek restaurants that offered street food, what we grew up with. And so that was, the question was why not? One thing led to the other, so here we are with two locations. Everything that we've done has to be things that bring me back home, done the right way. Fresh products made from scratch. We make all of our tzatziki, our sauces, our salads, everything is sourced locally and from here. We source our meats fresh every day. The ingredients, if they have to be Greek, they're gonna come from Greece. Our feta is from Greece. Our olive oil is imported from Greece. The olives come right from Kalamata. And then, of course, we get a little naughty and we're introducing things that if you come to Greece, you're gonna have, but here, nobody has experimented with. I came here for the food. It's phenomenal. It's absolutely delicious. I can come here almost every day. And I tell Angelo that even though we're best friends on a personal basis, don't you think that I come here for you? I come here for your food, but it's that good. Atmosphere is fun, great location, and it's just really about the food. The best part of all this is when I see Greeks coming in and when I see people that have visited Greece and have been there coming to me and saying, finally, it's a fantastic product, a really good, authentic, and traditional experience at a fair price with excellent ingredients, period. So if you're in town and you want to try a real Greek authentic gyro, then come on in. Between our two locations, we're open every day, so come on in. You're watching the official Best of America. I'm Cameron Fullerton. And I'm Mackenzie. We're with Rushmore Tramway Adventures here in Keystone, South Dakota. So this started with my family. My dad actually purchased the chairlift that we have here. He thought that it'd be cool to add just an alpine slide in the future. It kind of seemed like a pipe dream. And since then we've added six more attractions essentially heading into this next year. We added the restaurant at the top of the chairlift. That followed with the Alpine slide, which is like a 2,000 foot, almost looks like a water slide, but you take a cart down in it. About 10 years later, we added the challenge course, which is built up in the trees. We added a jump tower, it's a free fall tower. We have a standalone zip line. This last summer, we built a five line, two hour zip line tour that covers like 100 acres right next to Mount Rushmore. There's lines up to like 1,400 feet, 400 feet off the ground. You can see Mount Rushmore, so you're basically seeing the hills in a different perspective that hasn't been done before. And next year we're adding summertime tubing, continue to have more ideas that we have for the future. One thing to mention about our attractions is that they're authentic and genuine. We spend a lot of time and energy really trying to create an experience for our guests that is unparalleled. For example, the Zipline Tour, it's the only one in the world that goes past Mount Rushmore. It's the only one that encompasses the history of the Black Hills. We want people to be able to connect with those around them that matter, whether it's their friends, their family, and really our hope is to create an inspirational environment that transcends their time with us. You know, it's something that they can take back to the people they spend time with and share that experience and those emotions with them. So regardless of what your comfort zone is, we have something that allows you to either stay within those bounds or to stretch that comfort zone. Every time we add something new, we have to maintain the same integrity with each attraction that we've already had because if we make anything cheap, it won't give the same value that we've given our guests. You look at the zip line tour and people walking off this bridge here, and they're almost in awe. When you ask them how it was, they kind of give you this look of, I, I don't know how to describe what I'm feeling, but I love it. We are the premier adventure park in South Dakota. We continue to have that desire. We have people from all around the United States and other countries, and. It's just fun. I mean, you get paid to zip line around all day and hang out in the trees, so I couldn't say too much bad about it. It's awesome. I love it. We just did our first zip line adventure and it was marvelous. I really like the slice that we just went on. They were a lot of fun. You gotta go really, really fast. Best views ever. Yep. We're open generally when the traffic of when school's out, when school starts. We'll probably try to push into the shoulder season weekends, but currently it can come on the weekends in May and the weekends in September. This has just been a sneak peek into a little bit of what we do here at Rushmore Tramway Adventures. We just want to welcome you all to come out to the Black Hills and see it for yourself.
You're watching the official best of Minnesota, Iowa, and South Dakota. I'm Murphy Quint, Director of Operations and Head Distiller at Cedar Ridge Winery and Distillery in Swisher, Iowa. We make a number of different whiskeys here at Cedar Ridge, primarily four core whiskeys, our Iowa Bourbon, our Single Malt Solera Whiskey, our Malted Rye, and our Wheat Whiskey, are our four core whiskeys. In 1881, my great-grandfather, Johann Quint, moved here from Vintage, Germany, to Iowa. As far back as we can trace the family name, we've been in the wine and spirits business. We were the first licensed distillery in Iowa since Prohibition. We grow corn on our family farm, so that's the very corn that we use for our whiskey. We love having visitors here and giving tours. You can enjoy a walk among the 10 acres of vineyards we have on the property, have a wood-fired pizza, listen to some live music maybe. Our whiskeys are actively being sold in 25 different states right now, in addition to two different countries that we're currently exporting to. Cedar Ridge got Best American Craft Whiskey last year for our Single Malt Whiskey. We also got Distillery of the Year from the American Distilling Institute, which was an absolute game changer for our company. And then at the LA International Spirits Competition, our bourbon won Best of Category. That's including even distilleries from Kentucky, so we're very proud of that, that we're producing bourbon that's on par with any other bourbon produced in this nation. So here at Cedar Ridge, we're both a winery and distillery. We're able to essentially create flavor that's gonna go into our whiskey years in advance by aging certain wines, certain brandies, certain rums in these casks, and then aging our whiskeys in them later, primarily our single malt. We love Cedar Ridge! Woo! You can always request our product at your favorite retailer. Come on out, the scenery is beautiful, the company is great, and we'd love to have you. To see more, visit our website at officialbestof.com. My name is Blake Potoff. I'm the executive director here at the Fairmont Opera House in Fairmont, Minnesota. My main purpose here at the Opera House is to bring new entertainment and valuable entertainment, cultural experiences here to the Fairmont community and the community around as a region. When we're educating the community, we educate them about things that they may not be used to, cultural experiences from different communities from different parts of the world and we try to bring them all here to make sure that they can grow their cultural boundaries. We have a wide variety of different types of entertainment here. Everything from ballet to knife throwing to theater performances to off-Broadway to rock bands. Today we have a block party going on at the Fairmont Opera House. It's the first time we've ever done that. We just purchased the lot next door. Our facility has stood here for 116 years and for the first time we have an opportunity for expansion. I just appreciate all the arts that we're able to bring to this area and for a town the size of Fairmont it is fun to see all the different uh, groups that we can bring in and bring art and music to expose the next generation. This has been just a wonderful place for the kids to be able to enjoy the arts, to see what you can have right in your own backyard. Our town is small, but we can offer the arts at an incredible advantage. The Opera House is a great place to come and enjoy shows. I mean, I love working here because we get to have awesome acts. Intro for my coworkers. We have a great volunteer base. It's, it's just kind of all a win, so. I love that we have an arts organization in our community. We have a very unique opportunity. I think we're very, very lucky for that. As a musician, the acoustics are absolutely phenomenal. I could hear everything, which is really awesome. Secondly, I love the history. You gotta love a place with this much history. Blake, the executive director, showed me around, gave me a nice tour. As a young man, I came to the Fairmont Opera House. I remember in third grade, I sat enthralled at the magic that was happening on the stage, and I wanted to be part of it. And since that time, I've performed in over 30 five productions and been a tech director or set designer and builder and several more. I never thought as a third grader that I'd be here running this facility uh, to have the honor to work with the community that surrounded me as I grew up, to work in a place that blood, sweat and tears have gone into for over a hundred years and to have the opportunity to hold and continue and curate the legacy and the history of this magnificent building. This is what I call the treasure of the prairie. If anybody's interested in seeing any variety of events, we have all of them listed on our website and I'd love to meet you. I'd love to sit down and chat and just come in and enjoy a good show because things like this exist in small towns and we're a testament to that. So please come on out. We would love to have you.
You're watching the official Best of America. I'm Paul Ronhold, server manager at Joe Sensors. We have five foot by nine foot screens that runs 1080p HD. Other than that, we have great food for a sports bar and that's pretty much what we're known for. So just a good time on a Saturday, Sunday, or any given sports during the week. Food is very good. It's made here, a lot of it's fresh. Pizzas are fresh from ingredients. Sensor fries are one of the big things here, which is just a breaded crisscross fry with our seasoned sour cream dip sauce. Burgers are popular, and our barbecue chicken is really good too. Joe Sensors comes from a former Viking tight end. He comes in weekly, says hi to people, and does his thing. It's such a great place. I love all the people that work here. It's such an amazing working environment. Yes, it is my job, but I do like coming here because it's always fun to see the regulars, catch up with them, and I just love seeing my coworkers because they're always a good time. I'm plus 12 years, and there's plenty of people who have been here for 20, and it's kind of like a family in a way. We were probably one of their first customers when they opened the place yes. back in 02 or whenever it was, I don't know. They have the best food. The people are always friendly and awesome. The variety of food is amazing. Smoked meats, they've got pizzas, they've got salads, fresh fish, they've got steaks. They've got just a little bit of everything. I tried the dry aged steak and it's actually quite good. Started our team here. We've always had a lot of fun playing here. They have great beer deals and they give us good deals on like happy hour stuff and special deals for playing volleyball too. I think it should be best sports bar in the country because I've been to lots of them. Absolutely. All over the country. Seriously, it's like our second home. A lot of them say it's because of the atmosphere. A lot of them will say it's because of the food, how we'll play a game for them even if they're from out of town and stuff like that. Very accommodating place. So if you're not local, please stop in. We accept it either way. My name is Dan Hartman and I'm the director of the Glensheen Mansion here in Duluth, Minnesota. And we're proud to say that we're the number one visited house museum in the Midwest. This is a beautiful 39 room mansion here on the shore of Lake Superior. And right down by the lake we have one of the last remaining boathouses on all of Lake Superior. On the estate we have a gardener's cottage, we have a 15,000 square foot carriage house. And if you take our nooks and crannies tour you'll actually see the old carriages and the old sleighs of the family. Mostly everything that was there in 1909 is still there. From the furniture to a lot of the actual letters of the family, it's amazing how much is still intact from 100 years ago. This is a very great place to see. You got the big lake out in front of you, and of course at night you got a nice fire pit here to enjoy the camaraderie, all your good friends. When you do the tour, they talk about even like from the wallpaper that was made out of animal hair. The kids absolutely love it, and then of course it has the story of all the hauntings and everything like that too, so what's there not to like? I'm Jane, marketing manager at Glensheen Mansion. If you'd like to see us, we're open 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. July and August. So every other time of the year, we're open 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. every day. You're watching the official best of Minnesota, Iowa, and South Dakota. What makes this golf course special, I think, is kind of away from the hustle and bustle of the the Twin Cities, you know, and we kind of give them a private club feel in a public setting. It's a challenging golf course and a lot of times the course gets the best of them and they want to try to get the best of the course. People are, you know, oftentimes uh, think, think that we are not a public course and in fact we always have been. Again, we just offer the personal service and attention that I think a lot of the people would expect at a private course but not always at a, at a public golf course. We're open entirely to the public, our restaurant, our golf, our uh, banquet facilities, they're very welcome here. I think what makes it unique is that you see, uh, you don't see really any homes on the course, you see a lot of wildlife. Um, you got a lot of water, you got kind of two different nines. You got a, more of a marsh, wetlands on the front nine and more tree line and a little more elevation on the back nine. I think for the cost and the, and the food and beverage out here, the service is, is second to none. So I would, uh, I would recommend coming out here anytime. I mean, it's a challenging golf course, but it's still fun and it's in great shape and they have a great range for us to work our, on our game and, and uh, fine tune skills that we need to and it makes other golf courses seem easy when we play them. To see more, visit our website at officialbestof.com. 
Hello and welcome to the Caddyshack Indoor Golf and Pub. Basically the Caddyshack is an expansion of the indoor golf that we've had for a couple years and now we're offering more. More simulation, more opportunities to golf year round in the comforts of the indoors. And it's just a great time with a full liquor license. We're a great indoor golf and pub here in Duluth, Minnesota. We've got all sorts of bar games, board games, any kind of game you can think of. We're a really great place to come down and hang out, have a drink or one of our awesome pizzas that we make here at the bar. We've got a great crowd of people that come down, young, old, new people coming in all the time, but we've got a great crowd that's been coming here for years and years that we love to see in as well. The pizza is phenomenal. You want a great Cosmo? Come get it from Johnny! and play some pool and have some fun. Besides offering the indoor golf, we also have live music. We'd love to have you come visit, experience what we have to offer. It'll make you want to come back again. You're watching the official Best of America. My name is Justin Steinbach. I'm the owner of the Vista Fleet. We've owned it for almost eight years now. Vista Fleet is the Vista Star, the Vista Queen, and then we have a 5,000 square foot gift shop. The history of the Vista Fleet is actually the original attraction in Duluth, Minnesota. So it started back in the 60s. My name's Colleen Smith. I am the sales and events coordinator here at Vista Fleet. We do anything from groom's dinners to bachelor parties, bachelorette parties, weddings, and then our special events are brunch and dinner series that we have. Weekly brunches and dinner cruises, brunches on Sunday. We partner with Duluth Grill for this, so we have them on board every Sunday. They have a wide array of food. We also have our sunset dinner cruise, which is Thursday, Friday, Saturday throughout the summer as well. We partner with Felicio's Catering for that, so they're on board for that with our dinner cruises. We have pizza cruises as well, and our family fun cruises. We have some fall cruises in October that we do as well, and then sightseeing on top of that. We do have one of the most unique tour guide programs as well, in that we partner with local theaters and use performance artists in our actual tour guide roles. So people who are used to working in front of people and used to working with people. So we get people excited, we get people laughing, having a good time, and yeah, it's a great experience. I'm on the Vista Fleet and I've had a wonderful cruise here in Duluth. The cruise is really fun. Duluth Grill catered it. They're a great local restaurant. Everything's locally and sustainably sourced. The views are wonderful. The weather was great, definitely worth taking the trip down. Everyone's so friendly, the food is wonderful. I definitely recommend it to anybody who's wanting to relax a little bit and have some family time or just some alone time, it's great. We came years ago with our kids, we just wanted to do it on our own and now we'll bring our grandkids here. My name is Dylan Smith, I'm a captain here at uh, Vista Fleet. You know, it's just a great job. You get paid to be out on the water all day and there's not much to dislike about that. I love seeing all the people we get, you know, get people from all around the world. It's just really fun to see people come and enjoy their day in Duluth and I really like the kids you know, let the kids steer the boat and watch them light up and that's kind of the things you know they might look back on and remember as they grow up you know the day they got to drive the Vista Star in Duluth Minnesota so it's really fun being a part of that. We cruise May through October. We do cruise rain or shine. You can find all of our information on vistafleet.com. Follow us on Facebook or Instagram. We would love to see you on board. We have lots going on. We're located right behind the Duluth Entertainment Convention Center and Amsoil Arena. This is where our loading is and where our gift shop is. It was great to give you a peek into our business and we hope you'll join us this summer or any seasons to come. To see more, visit our website at officialbestof.com. Hello, my name is Forrest Parson. We're situated at Hungry Jack Lodge, located 32 miles up the Gunflin Trail on beautiful Hungry Jack Lake in the Superior National Forest. You can do a variety of things depending upon the time of year you're coming to the area. World-class fishing, we've got access to some awesome breathtaking hikes and views, bluffs and overlooks in the local area. You got day canoe trips, overnight camping in the Boundary Waters, and there's a variety of wildlife. If you're lucky enough to catch a glimpse of a lynx or a mountain lion, feel fortunate. Of course, in the summer months, we see a lot of fishermen and families. In the fall months, we see a lot of couples and fall color type folks, a few small game hunters. And then in the winter time, we're seeing a lot of snowmobilers and ice fishermen. 
that's too rugged for you, you can try one of our beautiful lakeside cabins. All of our cabins are all housekeeping equipped, so you know you got all your cooking utensils, all your linens, towels are provided. Each cabin has its own deck, charcoal grill, a private dock. All of our cabins are situated around the lake. We have either the cabins or we also do offer camping, whether it's a tent or you do have a camper. We're about uh, 150 miles from Duluth, Minnesota. Whatever type of adventure you're looking for, I think we have something to offer everyone here at Hungry Jack. For unusual and unforgettable Northwoods vacations, check us out. I think you'll find us interesting. You're watching the official best of Minnesota, Iowa, and South Dakota. We're at the Little Brown Church in the Vale near Nashua, Iowa. The church was built in 1860 to 1864. It took them four years to build it because we were in the middle of the Civil War. We do have regular church services. There are every Sunday at 1015, we have a sing-along, and at 1030, we have church. You're certainly welcome to come to church. We do have a lot of visitors come here. We do have a lot of tours here. And if you need a tour, give us a call. And our website would be littlebrownchurch.org. We hope to see you soon. Now let's take a look at some features from other states you can find on our website. Hi, I'm Karina, and I am the founder of Blue Moon Akita Rescue. We now are a part of Rising Sun Rescue, which has a larger mission. We also do rescue for pit bulls and rehabilitation. We're all about second chances. I've been with Akita since 1972. We are really about setting the dog up to be able to be successful in his new home. The Akita is a very old breed, probably 300 years ago. From Japan, they were bred to hunt bear, wild boar, deer, and for protection. We are not any longer exclusive to Akitas. We also have some very nice dogs here who are mixed breeds looking for another chance. We are a 501c3 nonprofit. Donations are what sustain us. All of our dogs get some professional training and that's not inexpensive. People can donate online. Our website is www.bluemoonakitarescue.com Dot com, or they can send donations to Rising Sun Rescue, Blue Moon Akita Rescue, 2155 South Havana Street, Aurora, Colorado. Thank you for joining us today. We look forward to hearing from you or having you visit us sometime soon. Thank you. Thanks for watching the official Best of America. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook to get the latest releases before they air on TV. OfficialBestOf.com